Happy Sunday, Christ King of Life Center. How you all doing? God bless you. I'm going to say don't get weary in well-doing. For if you don't faint, you keep doing what you're doing, you will receive a reward. I'm like you. I'm ready to be together with the saints um, so that we can praise uh, God. We can reason um, together. But hang in there. Um, we will get there uh, shortly by the help of the Lord. I always say it, and I hope you hear me. Let's put flesh on the gospel. Continue to reach out to one another, to love on one another, um, and to do whatever you can to show the love of God, not only to those you know, but to those um, that you may not know. Um, let's continue to um, pray for anybody who has suffered loss um, at this time. That could be loss of, um, of job, loss of um, family, loss of um, friends by way of going uh, to be with the Lord. Um, loss of direction. May God give direction. Um, I've just been um, really seeking, if you will, the Lord's way for the Lord's purposes uh, for all of us. And I want us to, that to be our um, intent for um, from now on, really. Um, but anyway, I want to want to jump into the Word of the Lord. I'm going to tell you this particular um, thought, if you will. That God has uh, me dealing with um, needs more time than what I'm going to give it. But I'm listening to the Lord and I'm keeping them back tired. So I may come back with part two of this Tuesday. We'll see. Y'all remember how I say I want you to be like the church at Berea. And I'm already going to tell you um, Isaiah um, uh, 48. You need to read it. Um, and then Psalm um, 23 again. We're going to use as our, uh, our backdrop from Psalm 23. Uh, he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Uh, and we want to concentrate on his name's sake. I want to want to try and teach this succinctly. I feel like uh, preaching, but I want us to grab this. I sense in the, in the realm of the spirit, if you will, uh, for Christ Kingdom Life Center, for the body at, uh, at large, for you as an individual that God has been shifting, God has been changing. You've been hearing that. But I want you to know that he's leading you in into paths, plural, of righteousness. Righteousness is very important for his name's sake. I want us to add that to our prayer, to our to our declaration. Now, for his name's sake, what, is, what does that mean? Uh, uh, sake means his uh, the cause or benefit. Watch this. For the purpose of, in the interest of, uh, in order to achieve or preserve for his name's sake. So God is leading us for his name's sake. Uh, out of consideration for in order to help someone. So he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And what I want you to hear is uh, God's name is very important. Yes, I know many of us can quote the names of God that watch this, have been delivered to us through experience. That's who God uh, is. And, um, uh, but, but it was defined as, as, as Abraham uh, went through uh, almost sacrificing Isaac. He then defined God as who God was as Jehovah Jireh. So it's as we go through these paths of righteousness for his name's sake that we discover his name and that we discover that God is guarding his name. He, he wants his name to be honored. Watch this now. One commentator says it this way. Clearly the phrase means for the sake of showing, watch this, his ability and his character. God wants to show who he is through our life. Now watch this. I, I don't want to rush ahead of myself, but that means paths of righteousness may not always, watch this, uh, uh, be rosy, may not always be uh, a sign, but that shall work out for your good. Why? Because you're going through it for God's purposes, God's plan, for God's people. Watch this. Then it's for his name's sake. God will get the glory out of the path that you're on. Watch this now. Uh, so, so clearly the phrase means for the sake of showing his ability and his character. I, I, so, so, so if no one has ever sick, uh, we won't know God is a, is a, is a healer. Watch this now. Uh, if it doesn't need to be turned around, we didn't know that, that God was the type of God that could, to, could, could do a divine reversal. Watch this now. Uh, so when we go back to Psalm 23, it means that when, when I am being, being led in his path of righteousness, it's for the sake of demonstrating his character. There's something that folks only are going to know as they watch this touch our lives where we have touched the Lord and, and he begins to display his ability and his character. Watch this. The New Living Translation says it this way. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths 
bringing honor to his name. Watch this now. Notice that it starts out in Psalm says he restores. Ah, it's, it's, it's active, y'all. It's participatory. He, he's active in restoring mm -hmm, our soul. Watch this now. Yes, it happens in an in a, in, in a instance, but watch this. It's, it's ongoing in a sense of it's unfolding in our lives. We, we begin to witness it. We, we, we begin to believe in it. Watch this now. Now watch this. Uh, 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 when it begins to, he leads me. So, so the leading of the Lord now. Uh, and you unpack that in your in your in your study time. How does God lead us by by His voice, by by His prophetic utterance, by His word? Are, are, are you with me? By 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 even uh, linking together like breadcrumbs the coincidences in our life. Watch this now. But He leads, and so we have to ask: Do we follow? Do we follow? Do we follow? And I gotta say it again, y'all. I gotta hear it. Hear me clearly. You cannot say no to the path that God wants you to walk and believe that you will have any semblance of peace. I'm, 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 I'm here to tell you, I want somebody to, I want somebody to hear that. Watch this now. He, he's leading you. He's, he's leading you. He's calling you. He's pushing you. He's, he's, he's prodding you. He's, 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 he's giving you advertisements, if you will. Uh, he, he's calling you to, to follow the path. Watch this now. Uh, watch this now. Uh, and, and meditating on a, a path or paths uh, really don't, it, it doesn't mean many. It, it means one. Uh-oh, -uh. uh -oh, what do you mean? Because paths is plural. Uh, but as God was showing it to me, watch this. Uh, the, 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 the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. Ordered, yes, in the sense that they're framed. They're, they're ordered. They're, they're ordered, but also meaning ordered in the sense of taking orders of God uh, giving you a particular uh, steps and ways in which to go. But watch this. Why am I saying it's past? It's singular because in my life, uh, born in 1966 and, and moving on until the Lord takes me to glory, there are many paths for which he has taken me. But there's, there, 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 if you all if you will, there, there, there's one purpose, and that is for me to glorify his name. So every path that he's taken me on, watch this, it's, it's all together. It's all working together that God's name might be honored because it's for his name's sake. God, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Watch this now. So so, so, so uh, uh, many being, being one, watch this, so paths being one path. What do I mean by that? It's like the GPS. You you, you, you could put it in uh, uh, the, 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 the place that you want to go into your uh, GPS and watch this. On, on mine, I can hit a button and it'll give me uh, three or four different routes, but the same destination. So it's many paths, if you will, but, but it's still, watch this, for his name's sake. And so it might say, uh, take a left here, that's one path. Take a right on this street here, that's, a, that's actually another path. But watch this, it's still leading all to the same destination that God's name might be glorified. I, can I stop here for a minute and, and tell you prophetically that God is using the season that we're in so his name might be glorified. It's for his name's sake. So, so the trial, the tribulation, uh, yes, the joy, yes, the, 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 the fear is all working for, 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 for God's name's sake. Are, are you hearing this? For, it's, it's for his cause. But, but watch this now. I, I want you to hear it because we, we're going to come out of it like, like pure gold. We're going to come out of it shining like the light. Uh, we're going to come out of it brighter. We're going to come out stronger. We're going to come out healthier. We're going to come out with a different mindset. We're going to come out with a different paradigm, with a, with a different strategy. Why? For his name's sake. God is going to glorify himself for his name's sake. Watch this now. Righteousness, righteousness, listen to the commentator. Righteousness is not is, is the nature of God imputed or given to man through Christ Jesus. So we become in right standing with God. He gives it to us when we accept the substitutionary death of Jesus. That means we realize that he did it all. Watch this for his name's sake that he might be glorified, that, that he might grab, watch this, mm, a family of folk and, and lift them to their proper position for his name's sake that he might be glorified. Why? That means he's a God that did not leave us alone, that he is Emmanuel, that he came to dwell among us, and he came to redeem us. Why? For his name's sake, so somebody would know the love of God, for God so loved the world. Ah, uh, help me now. So it's imputed to us now. It is also right standing before God. We're talking about righteous now. Your progress in your spiritual life is dependent upon you understanding, uh, 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 or our understanding of righteousness. 
Righteous is not right doing, but righteousness produces right doing. Because we stand in relationship with God and we want to please him, then we want to know his ways and we want to follow his ways. Righteousness is right believing. It's right believing. Believing in Christ Jesus makes us right before God. So watch this now. So so if, if, if God is doing things, uh, watch this, that his name might be glorified. I want you to hear this then. That isn't just good things or things that we associate with, with bad things. It's, it's all things. It's for his name's sake that he might be glorified. Watch this now. Watch this. Psalm 35 and 27 says this. Let them shout for joy. And be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yeah, let them say continually, let the, let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Watch this now. We have to wrap our minds around it. I have to grapple with this. But God wants you to prosper in every area of your life. Why? Because it's for his name's sake. It brings God's glory when you prosper. Watch this, when you, when you prosper, when you progress, watch this, that could be in thinking, that could be in belief, that could be from faith to faith and glory to glory. Watch this, that's in the realm of the spirit, but then it's got to begin to touch in the natural. We ought to be able to see some things changing, progressing, going. Uh, watch this, why? So that God be glorified. So that God be glorified. When, when we were studying uh, uh, in Rejected Mammon, it says be specific in your prayer. Why? Because when you're specific in your prayer, you can identify the fact that it is God who has glorified himself by answering prayer. It, it pleases God when we have that level of faith. So be specific. In, and watch this. When, you, when, when you're praying, when you're inquiring of the Lord, realize it's for his name's sake. Mm, it, yes, it, it, it's you and, and God loves you, but, but God be glorified as you prosper in these areas, as you prosper in these areas, as you grow in faith, as you grow in stature, as you grow in maturity, and that uh, translates into the natural. God is glorified. Well, I hope y'all are, are with me. He takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants or prospering his, his servants. The steps of a good man are ordered mm, of the Lord. They're, they're ordered. You have paths of righteousness, of right ways of, of, of doing things. Why? That God might be glorified. Watch this. It does not mean that there won't be obstacles, that there won't be stumbling blocks uh, uh, along the road, or that, you, or, or, or that you won't have to go through the shadow of death. But I'm not going to fear because, that's right, it's for his name's sake. He's with me. Bless his name. Now watch this. Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48. I told you we, we could deal with this more uh, succinctly if we had more time. But, but as you go study it now, we, you see God moving. He'll say, uh, uh, I'm doing this for my name's sake. And if you really study it, even in the Old Covenant, it will say that he, he did it because he made a promise and, mm, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And watch this. Uh, he, he's not going to let somebody say that he's not a God of promises. It's, it's not that you've been so good, but it's for my name's sake that I'm still moving on, on your behalf. Watch this now. Isaiah 48, verses 9 and 11. You need to read the chapter uh, in context, in, in totality to get it. But, but basically, uh, God's saying what I just said. He's saying, now, y'all ain't been good. But I ain't going to have nobody talk about my name. And so because of that, I'm going to, let me tell you, let verse 9 do it. He says, for my name's sake, there you go. Will I defer my anger? And for my praise, will I refrain from thee that I cut thee not off? For his name's sake, I, I called you by name in your, your mind. And I want them to see how I handle my people in loving kindness. In loving kindness. If we had time, we'd go over uh, uh, and we'd look in uh, uh, Hebrews where it talks about now, 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 if you don't let me chastise you, you're not sons. But it shows a graduation, if you will, or a scale escalating of how that uh, punishment comes, if you will. Uh, but he's, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. Why? For his name's sake, to, to bring glory to his name. So he corrects us mm, for his name's sake, that we might walk in the ways of righteousness. Watch this now. Verse 11 says, for my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. How, how should my name be polluted, and I will not give uh, my glory unto another. You're not going to say, uh, when you read it, I'm, you're not going to say that this heathen uh, God did it. We, you're going to know nobody did it but the Lord because you belong to him. 
So listen to me, y'all. Listen to me. For his name's sake, because of his character, he wants to show his divine ability. So as we walk this path of, of, of righteousness, as we as we move along through life, as, as, as life goes up and down, I want you to hear that it's for his name's sake, that God will get the glory, that all we have to do is be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the Lord. He, it's for his name. It's for his name's sake that maybe you suffered the loss, but it's going to be turned around. It's for his name's sake that you you, you, you might have been sick, but he, he's going to heal you. It's for his name's sake that you might not understand which way to go, but he's going to put a light on, on, onto the path. It's, it's for his name's uh, uh, sake that, that you may have gone from glory to glory and from faith of faith. It, it, it's for his name's sake that you are who you are and you've been uh, translated into the kingdom. It's for his name's sake that God has given you abilities and gifts. It's, it's for his name's sake that we that we serve and we, we, we put flesh on the gospel. It's always for his name's sake that we lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. It's for his name's sake that we give prophetic uh, uh, utterance. It's for his name's sake that we uh, lend unto the poor. It's for his name's sake that we uh, execute his strategy. It's for his name's sake that he's calling you to shift and move into a different direction. It's for his name's sake that he's asking you to start that business and, and move further. It's for his name's sake that he said, put this down and pick this up. It's for his name's sake that he's saying you exit and then you enter. It's for his name's sake that he's given you the ability that you might glorify him. It's for his name's sake that he's put you in that arena that you might be right this, that at the top of it, that you might declare that I'm doing it because I'm doing the bidding of the Lord. It's for his name's sake that he delights in you prospering because it didn't seem like anybody should prosper being where you're from, uh, not being educated. Or it's, it's for his name's sake that he, he does it. It's for his name's sake that he opened the door that you might be able to go to school and be uh, educated and, 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 and make a difference. It's for his name's sake. It's for God's name. Mm, it's for God's name. It's for his name's sake that we gather together as one community of believers in a certain place under a certain banner to be equipped, to be sent Hmm, bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Know that I love you, God. Bless you, God. Keep you. That's always our, our prayer. This is just a nugget of it. Go, go, go study it out. For his name's sake. Hmm, let me just say, I, I declare that there's just such a greater weight of God's glory upon us. Of God's favor upon us. And it's for his name's sake. I, I want you to move in boldness in the past that God has, uh, um, if you will, uh, caused to be, uh, uh, cause you to be aware of. In front, it, it's for His name's sake that opportunities and doors and, and strategies are being released. I pray a boldness in you by the Holy Spirit that we move in these arenas, that we move in these places, that God might be glorified. Say not I'm too young. Say young in the sense of immature. Don't know. Uh, uh, say not that I don't have the strength, the ability. God is equipping you. Say not it's too uh, late in the game. Hmm. It's for his name's sake. I love you. And again, all of you who have been blessed in the ministry by ways of tithes and offering, God bless you. God uh, keep you. Uh, 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 sow and declare the promises of God that it might continue to be uh, uh, moving mightily in your life. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. We could have we could have gone a little longer today. I love you. God bless and God keep you. Continue to keep me in uh, in your prayers. And like I said, uh, that I do the will of the Lord. That I continue to see, continue to hear, continue to uh, have the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Continue to have something burning in my belly that I might deliver it unto you. God bless you. God keep you. That's our prayer. We'll see you Tuesday night. God bless you.